I love the Palm Beaches. 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 I love it down here. Uh, from the first time, it's kind of spending a bit of time around Jupiter. But uh, I mean, a big thing with the weather, uh, being able to just go hang at the beach, go paddle boarding, you know, be out on the water, fishing, jet skis. Uh, it's just a good place to kind of relax and, and hang our hat. They just love being down here. We've got a nice airport we can fly out of. We've got brilliant uh, restaurants. We've got great outdoor life, you know. And uh, that's what the guys want. They want a nice, relaxed outdoor life and uh, work on their games. I loved the area. I loved, um, obviously, for a golfer, the practice facilities, the golf courses, the weather. You know, you're guaranteed weather pretty much all year round. And then once I started to spend more time here, I started to discover the area, discover the beaches, discover everything that the area had to offer. And, um, you know, whenever I wanted to settle in the United States, there was, there was no better place for me to, to come than, than to here. I went to Florida because I could play for, uh, it, the entire year and then I just moved a little bit south here to Palm Beach because uh, you got great golf courses, you got great players around the area. There's a reason why so many uh, good PGA Tour players are coming here and, and, and weather is definitely one of them. You've got premier golf uh, all around the area from you know more inland to you know right on the beach and uh, it's just great for a professional golfer. I grew up on near the Pacific and I, I've always wanted to be next to the ocean. And trust me, after living in Florida and Orlando for all these years, this ocean is a lot warmer than the Pacific. <laughs> after you know, carefully kind of figure out where I want to permanently move um, and looking at how the, the area was, um, it, the, the family orientation of it, this area, um, the relaxed nature, nature of it, the people are just so nice. Came up playing the Lost Tree Pro Am. 1963, came back and played in 64. Liked the area, uh, liked the people. I could have gone anywhere. I've gone all over the world and I haven't found a place I'd rather be than Palm Beach County. Jonathan Dickinson State Park, place I've been going, my family and I have been going for a while and uh, not many people know about, but it's really nice just to walk around in the nature and uh, see the wildlife. Palm Beach ice cream is definitely up there. Uh, it's a good go-to. Uh, try not to do too much of it. Uh, I spent a, quite a bit of time over at Tiger's Restaurant at the Woods. Uh, that whole harbor side development is pretty cool. Uh, obviously a good vibe. It's, there's always something going on through the week and on the weekends. The old gym of mine is this, the Square Group. <laughs> you know, I love it down there. I see a lot of people who come in and uh, watch the, the baseball and they end up on the water, so it's wonderful. My kids like it, and you know, four of my five kids, we have one rebel that moved, moved to Atlanta, but the rest of them are here with their families. They liked it here, they grew up here, they chose to stay here uh, because they like it. I'm a sunrise and sunset guy. I've always said uh, my perfect day is when I get up early in the, on the bike and I see the sunset, the sunrise on the bike, um, just in the ocean, and then uh, when I get the sunsets in the water and the, on, the, on the river. I think the Palm Beaches has got every, you know, it's got a lot to offer, not just for golfers. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of golf courses here, um, but there's so much more to do. You know, the beaches, the, the restaurants, the bars, the nightlife, you know, even the environmental stuff with the turtles at Juno Beach. And um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of great things to do here. And um, hospitality is great, the hotels are fantastic. Uh, seafood is probably some of the best in the world. So um, there's a lot of things to do here and, and even if you're not a golfer, you know, it's, it's definitely a good place to come and visit. I just like throwing the paddleboard in the Loxahatchee River. I mean, it's, it's tough to beat. I mean, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's active at the same time because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little exercise. The first thing I would say is go to the Juno Beach Pier. Uh, it's pretty cool. The waves are always nice and uh, it's usually pretty sunny outside. And then uh, I would usually say go get a bite to eat at Culinary Cafe right off of uh, Donald Ross and Military, that's a place that I usually go to. That's great local food and, uh, and uh, local beer too. Weather-wise, I mean, it's, it's great here. It's, uh, you know, it's not too busy. It's not, uh, it's not too touristy anyway. It's, it's very much, uh, feels like a home setting. Access from a 
boating standpoint, keep my boat at my house and be able to go out in the ocean or across the ocean to the Bahamas, whatever I want to do. Everything's convenient. We can surf a little bit, we can go scuba diving, spear fishing, and play golf, um, and then go to the restaurant at the very end of it and watch sports. Uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool place.